Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to go over if, if, else, uh, while, and for loops. So, go ahead and open up the application from last time we'll get started. Basically, I just have um, a user input here getting a number, and all we're going to do is we're going to run this through a loop to check if it's above zero, below zero, or equal to zero. So, um, the first way we can do this is we're going to use a if loop. An if loop is just a piece of code that executes over and over again until it's told to stop. So, we just write if double parentheses. Now, in between the, the double parentheses, what we're telling, we're asking if is equal to. So, we're going to go my number uh, is larger than zero. Then, we're going to do the double curly braces. So, what that's doing is if my number is larger than zero, execute what's inside these braces. So, we'll just go console dot right line your number is above zero. Okay? Okay, now you could now if you wanted to test if it's above, you could also do another if loop. But instead, since we're using if loop, we can do the else. Okay? So else, and then you just do this. So what that's doing is saying if my number is above zero, then write your numbers above zero. But if it's not else, if it's not above zero, which would mean it's below zero, you write your number is below zero. But also, there's the else if, which we could go like this and write another. If we wanted to test, say, um, if it's larger or if it's smaller or if it's equal to, we could do my number smaller than zero and then console.write line your number is below zero like that and then you can go and if it then you can write an else like this and what that would do is if your number is above zero print this if it's below zero print this else if it's not below or above then do this which would be would be equal to zero so you'd go console dot right line your number is zero Okay, so that's the basics of how to use an if and if le else loop. Okay, now we're gonna go over a while loop. So go ahead and write out while a while loop just like you would an if loop, except use the while statement. Okay, so now we have to fill out what we're gonna test inside our parentheses, just like the if loop. So we go my number equal to zero. Okay, so while my number is equal to zero, we do what's inside these two braces. Okay. And you always use double equals marks because if you don't, you're basically assigning my number to zero. Okay, so always use doubles because that's asking if this is equal to zero, then do what's inside this. So while my number is zero, you could say console dot right line and then my number. Like so. But see, if you notice, you're going to have a problem because my number equals zero, so it's just going to keep running this loop over and over and over again, and it's just going to keep printing my number. So what we can do is we can change this to while my number is smaller than zero, then smaller than ten, print this number. But it's still going to keep printing because my number's never adding up anything. So we can go my number plus equal to one. Okay. So now what it's doing is every time this loop goes through. It plus num it pluses my number equal to one. Okay, so now we can go to console dot read key and we can see how this works. Press debug and it prints one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So while my number is smaller than ten, do what's inside these braces. And if you don't add my number plus equal to one or something to that effect, you're gonna have an infinite loop which may cause you problems. So try to stay away from that. Okay, this is a for loop. It's a little more complicated, so I just read it out so um, we can just go over and explain it. So basically, uh, what you do is you write for, just like all the other loops, and then you write int. So this is our int that we're going to be running through loop. So I just named it second num and equals zero. So basically, it equals zero. So while um, second num is smaller than my number, which equals ten, second num plus 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 is the same as plus equal to one. Uh, you can also do minus minus, which would be minus equal to one. And then I did console dot right line uh, second num. So basically, what that's doing is um, while 
it's kind of like a while loop except you have to add these different properties to it to make it work so basically when you run it it'll print one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so what that's doing is while it's smaller than second number it doesn't print ten because it's not it's got to be smaller and nine is smaller than ten so uh... what it's doing is basically for int uh... second num while it's smaller than my number plus plus one every time this loop is executed make this variable plus equal to one and then write this variable on the console line okay that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to learn how to make a basic calculator with all of our knowledge we've learned over the uh... past couple tutorials so uh... come back